Right, good afternoon everyone, uh, Mr. Ages here on uh, a slightly grey and beginning to drizzle day. Um, I've changed uh, where I'm sitting, so I've got my slightly sort of tired old shed uh, in the background that's definitely need in, uh, in need of a bit of a paint. Uh, and I've got a lovely rose bush here, uh, which very kindly our neighbour gave a nice prune uh, to at the beginning of uh, spring. Uh, so it's really looking lovely and smelling nice as well. Uh, anyway, I hope you're all well and uh, that another week has passed uh, with a sort of changing uh, rules, meaning that we can maybe go and see more people, um, obviously in the safest possible way. Um, I'm actually going to move inside because it's beginning to rain. So, uh, two seconds. Uh, so yes, uh, I did come in just at the right time because it's absolutely peeing it down now. Um, but yes, I was in the middle of saying I hope you've had a good week. Um, some of you, uh, year 10s, a small portion of year 10s have been in uh, school, uh, which has been absolutely lovely. Um, and I know that some year 10s, uh, or the rest of year 10, will be coming in uh, one of the th three remaining weeks uh, that we have left of uh, school. Um, for those of you who aren't uh, able to come into school, uh, we hope you are staying well and keeping on top of your work uh, and hopefully keeping in contact with your teachers and your tutors. Uh, keeping that li those lines of communication open are really, really important, um, just for our sanity and also hopefully for yours as well. Because it's nice for us to uh, be able to hear your voices and see what sorts of things you've been up to. Um, so as always, uh, going to read out the birthdays for this week. Um, as always, it seems that Year 10 seems to have the lion's share of the birthdays. And, uh, and then I will uh, explain to you the word of the week and the gospel reading and just a few other things for you to sort of keep your ears out about, okay? Or your eyes open for. So in Year 7 we have Portia Askew and Max Barrington. In Year 8 we have Mashik Brook, Dominic Hirsch, Elsie Carr, Jack Maguire and Scarlett Lester. In year nine, we have Oliver Freeman, Talia Perkins, and Katie Gascoigne. In year 10, we have Daniel Weston, Jacob Marston, Alice Lord, and Thomas Harvey, who are all uh, having their birthdays today on the 21st. We have Roxana Ix, Indy Freeman, Scott Farrens, and Reese Bailey. In year 11, we have Mark McDermott and Natalie Chiraya. Sorry, Natalie, for mispronouncing your name. Uh, year 12 we have David McCabe, Kieran Riley and Mia, Tager, T Mia Taylor Logie and year 13 our 18 year old is Kasha Brown. Uh, so as always uh, I do hope you get to celebrate your birthdays um, with some of your family uh, and perhaps some of your friends who are able to sort of come around and see you uh, and we keep you in our thoughts and our prayers for this week. Uh, so uh, the word of the week this week, uh, as you will see from the NDCYS video, which is also on the uh, school website in the Catholic life area, uh, is all about understanding. And Naomi explains uh, what it is uh, to understand, but also the link between that and knowledge. The idea being that, you know, it's, it's all well and good knowing things. We can learn things from a book, but often what helps is having a greater understanding of things. Um, we can know things in a sort of an intellectual way, but understanding it gives us that depth of, uh, of knowledge um, that makes a massive difference to our lives. So understanding, and especially again, as always, you know, living in a world where there seems to be a lack of understanding, being able to understand what it is to be in another person's footsteps, to think about uh, how other people in the world live, uh, whether it be in developing countries, whether it be if they are from ethnic minorities or because of a different sort of sexuality or different gender. You know, our ability to empathise and understand with people is what makes us different, is what makes us Christian and should make us uh, try and replicate the life of Jesus and how he treated others. Um, so the word of the week is understanding uh, and you will be able to watch the extraordinary video um, on the school website or on YouTube uh, if you keep up with NDCYS um, from this evening uh, onwards. Okay. Um, so today's gospel is uh, from uh, the gospel according to Matthew. Um, I'm not entirely sure why we've moved on from John 
whether we go back to John or whether we now are continuing with Matthew. So do not be afraid of people. Whatever is now covered up will be uncovered, and every secret will be made known. What I am telling you in the dark you must repeat in broad daylight, and what you have heard in private you must announce from the housetops. Do not be afraid of those who kill the body but cannot kill the soul. Rather, be afraid of God who can destroy both body and soul in hell. For only a penny you can buy two sparrows, yet not one sparrow falls to the ground without your father's consent. As for you, even the hairs of your head have all been counted. So do not be afraid. You are, much, you are worth much more than many sparrows. For those who declare publicly that they belong to me, I will do the same before my Father in heaven. But if anyone rejects me publicly, I will reject him before my Father in heaven. The Gospel of the Lord. So, um, Matthew mentions a few things in his Gospel today. One is the idea that God knows us intimately. God knows every hair on our head. And because of that, God loves us and God knows us uh, intimately. And therefore we shouldn't really be afraid of things, I suppose, um, which is easier said than done. Uh, all of us have had moments in our lives and continue to have moments in our lives where fear is the thing that kind of continues to take over our uh, ourselves, our minds, our hearts, sometimes our bodies. We can feel fear physically sometimes you know I've, I think as I get older I realize that if I sort of perch myself over you know up on heights I sort of start feeling a bit funny um, whereas before when I was younger I tended to kind of not really be, be too fussed about those sorts of things and so fear is a really uh, powerful uh, force in our lives um, but not one that needs to necessarily overtake it you know, often fear can paralyze us and stop us from, from thinking properly, from feeling properly, from acting physically properly. Um, you know, I, I've been surfing for many, many years and I read all these accounts of surfers who ride these unbelievable waves, huge waves. Um, they all say that they fear, they do have fear, but they don't let it overtake them. And so they find themselves in positions where most of us would be absolutely terrified of and yet they still manage to survive and surf these huge waves and sometimes get wiped out by these huge waves and held down under the water for you know inordinate amounts of time but they they stay in control the fear doesn't overtake them um, and and so I suppose one of the things from this gospel today you know it repeats the idea do not be afraid and so as much as you possibly can at the moment you know where many of you probably have plenty of reason to be afraid you know try to make sure that that's not a thing that overtakes you who you are you know deep down every single one of us is a a, a human being with a good good soul and, and and empathy and love sometimes fear can kind of lead us to uh, stop understanding and going back to the word of the week it can sort of stop us understanding so it's really really important that when we feel that fear we take a deep breath and we don't let it control us we just recognize it we say yeah it's there but we move on that can be fear of who we are you know we, our ability to see ourselves in a positive way the fear of the future fear of how we might do in our exams, fear of what's going to happen to our families, fear of what's happening in the country, fear of what's happening in the world. You know, there are lots of things to be scared of, but we need to remain positive and trust in God and in ourselves. And that phrase, do not be afraid, even just repeat that to yourself quietly in the, the quietness of your, your head as you breathe and do some mindfulness exercises. Just repeat that phrase, do not be afraid. Okay, it's really important that we all stay focused and strong and that eventually, you know, th things will come right. Um, so what I'd like you to do uh, for this week, uh, you will hopefully have seen uh, on the school uh, website, on the Twitter account, that the Sitform Prefect team have uh, opened up their uh, big remote, Delisle, big Delisle remote fundraiser. 
I think I've got that the right way around, um, uh, to raise money for the Leicestershire Hospital Charity and for Rainbows. So two charities in our local area, some of whom, you know, some of, uh, some of us uh, who may have had a sort of uh, contact with them or interaction with those particular organisations benefited from their help. Uh, we are trying to raise money for them. So you will see that some of the prefects are cooking meals for their family, uh, producing pieces of art, uh, doing keep me uppies. Um, so I have uh, pledged, and I'm going to ask Mr. Lissman to put this on Twitter tomorrow, I'm going to cycle uh, 100 miles a week. At the moment I'm commuting uh, from Nottingham to uh, Loughborough. Uh, instead of catching public transport, I will use the car once a week, uh, but I will at least do 100 miles, if not more, and I will uh, share some of the money I might have spent on public transport with those two charities, and I'm going to give the rest of the money to a an environmental charity, uh, or one specific to surfing, called Surfers Against Sewage, and they are a brilliant organisation, have been around since the mid-80s, keeping our coastal waters uh, clean, and protecting uh, our beaches, you know, places that most of us at some point have benefited from and largely to, down to uh, the organisation called Surfers Against Sewage. So my money is going to go to those uh, three sort of charities. So if you can do anything to raise money, uh, then uh, you send Mr Lissman an email telling him uh, to send out a tweet explaining what to do. Uh, and maybe a little video or a photo of you doing the thing that you are uh, hoping to raise money from. Uh, it'd be brilliant to see how much we could raise before the end of term and to see how many people we can get involved and maybe to give the rest of the staff at Delisle a bit of a nudge as well. I'm sure there are lots of talented people who can do all sorts of amazing things to raise money for those charities. Um, but uh, it just leaves me uh, to say have a good week. Uh, we will be welcoming in a new group of Year 10s uh, this week uh, and I hope they are not too nervous. Uh, the ones I spoke to from last week and the rest of the staff spoke to last week on the whole had a lovely, lovely time. Um, and so let's hope that continues and that it prepares us to welcome back uh, the rest of uh, you at some point. Oh, that's one other thing I did have forgotten actually. Yes, from next week, so from tomorrow onwards, um, I am, with the help of some students, going to do some live streamed acts of worship uh, from the chapel. Uh, so instead of your uh, weekly acts of worship in the hall, we are going to uh, present them from the chapel. So you will be sent a link uh, via your emails uh, and it will fall within uh, the normal prep time. So from about 2.40 onwards, uh, every day for different year groups, there will be an act of worship. Uh, last maybe 10, 15 minutes, so it's not long, but it'll be just nice for you to sort of join in with an act of worship uh, from your home. Uh, but also just to make sure that we are keeping those community links uh, with each other strong. But... Uh, as our prayer, I will just uh, ask God to bless us all and to look after us um, and to keep us safe and always to just remember to do the most loving thing. You know, remember our school motto to do what is right, not what is easy. In any situation where we could do the easy thing, do the, the, the difficult thing because that's probably the, uh, the best and most loving thing. But look after yourselves and I will see you next week. Bye bye.